Courier. The Courier. Start. The the Courier, starting Benedict Cumberbatch. Isn't that the guy from Doctor Strange? And he's in the new role. Guys, find out if this movie's good. Should you go? Should you not go? We're going to find that out today. Yo, what's going on, Movie Nation? It's Just Jesse. I hope you're having a good day. And today, yes, we are going to go watch The Courier. I'm sorry if I'm not saying these names right, because I definitely do not know how to talk today. The Courier, starting Benedict Cumberbatch, the guy from Doctor Strange and from the Marvel movies. He also had a big key in defeating Thanos. Thanos, you know, the big bad guy from Avengers, Avengers. Anyway, we're going to go see it at 4 o'clock at AMC Dine In, Yorktown 18. What, what's the difference between the Dine In? I've seen, I've been there twice. I didn't buy anything. It's where they bring the food to you and you can eat a bigger and better meals. We're going to see if that's true. I'm not going to buy anything. I'm so tempted to buy a cocktail, but uh, we're not going to be drinking today. It's not going to be a good idea, <laughs> right? I'm, I'm just going to get a water bottle, but I'm going to show you everything. Is it good? Is it bad? And is it safe to go to the theaters, parking lot, inside the theaters, how everything is being sanitized? Like, what are they doing to keep us safe? Four o'clock, AMC Dining, Yorktown 18. I'm going to keep you guys updated and give you a little review process towards the end. If you guys like these videos, it would mean the world to me if you subscribe and uh, like these videos because um, it will help me grow and then I can keep doing this as a career. All right, guys, we're going to leave. We're actually in the parking lot, so we're going to go. Guys, so we're at the movie theaters. The sun is so harsh. It's on a Saturday. We're at uh, Ames, Yorktown 18, so I'm going to show you the parking lot and everything about it. So we're at the mall, and uh, this is an outdoor dining. I've never actually been here to this AMC, but I'm going to give it. So this is the AMC, right? This is where we're going. So if you're in Illinois, this is a great AMC dine-in. This is where they bring the food to you. So we're in Yorktown. This is an outdoor mall. As you can see, this is going to be an amazing place. I'm going to go get some shoes after this, but I just still wanted to show you guys the mall. So it's like, yeah, it's an outdoor mall, indoor mall, so it's pretty cool. AMC theaters, guys. So let's go. We're going to go to the theaters right now. We're going to go to the theaters. Let's go. Full AMC. Look at that. All right, cool. We're going to, we got the mask though. See, look. Ooh. We honestly have the masks. So it's like crazy. Oh. I got the kitchen right there. AMC. This is so cool. AMC, look at AMC. This is where we came. Oh. So cool how they have these sanitizers. This is the first AMC that has like these mist, which you can wipe down the seats with. But uh, yeah, that's not really, and there's the outside, so we're gonna go in. And we're back. All right, Movie Nation, we're back in review time. See, it's just, just my YouTube channel, of course. All right, so The Courier, and I'm sorry if I don't get these names right. This is way out of my like tongue. So The Courier, The Courier, The Courier. 2021 starting Benedict Cumberbatch. He's also the guy from Doctor Strange. Did you know that? He plays as Gribble Wine. We got Rachel Bolzhan as Emily Dovan. She's also a part of MI6. So she's in the United States. We got Jesse Bluckley as Chalet Wine, which is the wife to Greville, which is Benedict's character. We also, This is the hardest name, but you'll see it on the screen. We got M Mera Diz as Oleg. And we got Angus Wright as also the mentor to Emily, which is MI6. Okay, so the plot setting Moscow and United States are in a tense heat battle between the Soviet Union and the United States. It's during the 1960s, which is the Cuban Missile Crisis. I don't really know about it too much other than high school, which let's be honest. I totally forgot the footage they used, they used from JF Kennedy. Now, I, this is probably resurrected, remastered footage because I was like, wow, that's Kennedy. And you hear the same like pitch tone dialogue that they used, you know how they did in the radios back then. He's like, Today we have America, and he talks about America. Today we are going to launch an attack. Which, obviously, he probably didn't say that, but you know what I mean. Okay, so there's detectives, there's MI6. Uh, they recover Greville, which is your average Joe. He's a salesperson living in the United States, has a kid, has a wife, and he does sales for business. They recruit him because they need someone of average Joe to go to Soviet Union to technically spy and steal documents to take it back to the United States. So throughout the movie, you'll see him flying from Moscow to the United States. You'll see that a lot. The information is very destructive. This is a very good movie for your biography lovers. It does happen with real world history. It's also based on a true story. There's not really a lot of action unless they show nukes or the missiles. But even when you see JF Kennedy or even the Soviet leader talking in the movie, it's just like, I'm just like, oh my gosh, like something bad could happen. They could explode or nuclear. And so it deals with spy thriller complications, right? The only thing bad that I want to say, it's maybe a little bit hard to follow. 
So when I went to the theaters, and I'm not trying to be mean, I didn't see anyone really my age. I mean, I go because I love movies and I do this for YouTube. But mostly, if you're not Gen X or Gen Z or Millennial, this probably probably wouldn't be good for you. Baby boomers, this this is great, but I don't know if there's any baby boomers watching my channel. Unless you like really care about biography, real world history, even back then with the Soviet Union and United States, probably will fit your build. I loved how Benedict Cumberbatch and uh, Rachel Bosman, their character dynamic between the husband and wife, and she's like, what's he up to? what are you doing babe and like you see them progress in a different because of what he's doing and what that causes their relationship to entitle towards the end so the dynamic between the husband and wife because it made him more human to us it made it more like okay so whatever's happening in the Soviet Union with him being a spy is complicating their relationship. The movie did a great job of tackling that aspect. You know me, I love romance. So anything with romance movies, I always have to point it out. The movie does a great job of showing you what true men really go through for each other and for the world. Because when things could go so bad, a lot of men, even including me, like sometimes we would take the easy way out. These guys didn't. And the movie did such a great job of portraying that to us and showing us. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is to do the right thing, but that comes with a cost. And the movie did a great job of explaining that and showing it to us because emotionally, these characters, you can feel what they're going through. And it really kind of sucks at some points. It's not all happy. It just shows you what true men will go through for their country and for their family, honestly. I'm giving this movie a 7.5 out of 10. It's very nice, but the only thing that I had with it, it's a little bit hard to follow. It's a little bit slow. And for the rest of the people in our community, they probably are not going to watch it. All right, guys, that's going to be everything for me today. I hope you have a great day, and I appreciate you so much for sticking around. Let me know if you need anything. You know I'm always going to be here. And, um, yeah, I'm really grateful for you.